Hi, this is Scott Stein, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com, and this is the Lenovo IdeaPad S10 3T. Now, we've seen Lenovo netbooks before and we really enjoy their keyboards. What's interesting about this model is that it's actually a convertible tablet as well. The screen swivels 180 degrees around and suddenly becomes a 10.1 inch tablet device with a capacitive touchscreen. Now it's interesting timing because with a price range from $549 to $649, it's priced very similarly to an iPad. And the question is, does a 10 inch device like this with flash with the ability to have USB ports and a full hard drive, does it compete well and offer something that's competitive or even superior? Well, we'd love to say yes, but there are some drawbacks. While this device does have better than netbook specs, it includes a 250 gig hard drive, two gigs of RAM in the $650 configuration, and a faster Atom N470 processor, still for $550 to $650, that's a lot of money for a netbook. You can get ones at $299 that offer very similar functionality, maybe slightly less hard drive space or a gig fewer RAM, but you know that's really hard to justify all that extra money for the touchscreen. And as far as the touchscreen, while we love the fact that it's capacitive, which means like an iPhone, you can touch the screen without having to press on it using a, a stylus or you know using a, like the old-fashioned tablets do, um, it's a little bit laggy and it has a little bit of a slow reaction time with some of the programs that we use. Although Lenovo does have a really nice set of natural touch apps that include an ebook reader, media player that you can enjoy on some really nice large stereo speakers that are included, but again. The experience is sort of a little bit laggy and it's not quite as fast as we'd expect and the battery life unfortunately is pretty low. It's under three hours on our tests which won't really last even a long plane flight or even a medium plane flight. So you know we may prefer watching our movies on our smartphone with a battery life like that. So another interesting thing to point out about the S10 3T is the keyboard. People love to know about netbook keyboards and if they're comfortable. A lot of them kind of get a little bit shrunken down. You feel like you're in a dollhouse. This one is great. We, we, we always love Lenovo netbook keyboards. This one is a little bit shallow compared to others, but it's a old-fashioned style tapered keyboard design. The keys are nice and large. It's very easy to type on. On the other hand, you can see to shave down on the space and the width, the palm rest area is pretty small. So you're going to have to find, you have to angle your hands a little bit, and it can get a little awkward at times. And the touchpad is very tiny. Now while it has a great tactile surface that makes, um, you know, gives you great friction and allows you to navigate the screen well for its size, it also doesn't have any buttons. It uses a click pad, much like the MacBook does, and a lot of other notebooks are doing now. So you actually click on the corners of the screen for the buttons. We love that idea, but on a trackpad that's this small, it makes navigating that just even more difficult. Overall, it's a great concept, uh, but you know we feel like we'd love to see the next iteration of it. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad S10 3T. I'm Scott Stein with CNET.